Louisiana Beer Reviews Heineken Silver. Introduced in 2019. Uh, this is a premium malt lager. Lagered at below freezing, like around 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Brewed in Holland, in the Kingdom of the Netherlands. The, ingredient, the ingredients are water, malted barley, and hop extract. No corn, no rice. Apparently they're using yeast, but I guess in that country it's not required to be an ingredient. Brewed in can by Heineken, product of Holland, like I said. Heineken Silver Lager Beer. 4% alcohol. 95 calories, so it's uh, kind of a Michelob Ultra type thing. Um, except with, like I said, no adjunct corn or rice. Best Buy date, October 2023. Paid too much for the single, but it was better than getting a whole 12 pack. Yeah. I figured I'll just get the single, do the review. And even if I like it, this is not the kind of beer I buy. I mean, I'll buy light beer to drink, uh, but um, not an ultra light. Because I have been purchasing um, Milwaukee's Best Light, which is the lowest priced beer in Louisiana and um, has a good taste, better than most of the light beers I find. Okay, the sun is at about an 85 degree angle, so it's kind of steep there. Slightly off-white head, clear, golden appearance. Uh, under the direct sunlight, I am seeing some sediment, very fine powdery sediment, which you can get in any beer. The lighting is good. This is one of those few sunny, dry days we get each year in Louisiana. I think it's like the 17th, something like that, 17th sunny, dry day of the year so far. Yesterday was looking good, then it clouded up at the end, so it disqualified it. It was more humid yesterday. It's like totally dry today. Uh, yeah, it smells like a super light Heineken. You get the um, crackery barley malt. These Euro lagers have that crackery taste, uh, aroma and flavor, I mean. Taste, so let's go with the taste itself. Cheers. It's a cool day, but it's not dead cold like it was for the past four days. That was bad. Winter, winter went out with a, a frigid vengeance. Very watery, faint biscuit note. Hoppiness is non-existent, so zero out of five hop cones. I mean, it does have technically an IBU number, but um, in reality, it's practically zero. And uh, sweetness is low, so let's say two out of five sugar cubes, zero out of five hop cones, thin bodied, crisp, clean, refreshing. Similar to water in that sense. Okay. Rape Beer says it's okay. 77 out of 100, like a C. Rape. So that's Beer Advocate, I mean, uh, whatever I said. Beer Advocate says 77 out of 100, okay. Beer, uh, Rape Beer, get it right. Rape Beer says, oh, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It's a five out of 100, which would mean you couldn't drink it. And if you did, you'd, you might survive, get back home from the hospital. Probably you wouldn't. Um, 33 out of 100 in the style. So they say even in the style, it's an atrocity. Uh, Untaps got it at uh, 56, which on their scale is, you know, kind of like Beer Advocate, okay, sort of low average. <clears throat> For the style and ultralight, yeah, it's fine. It's probably a little better than Michelob Ultra or, um, or um, Yingling Flight, way better than that. There's a new Tecate Alta, which is probably almost the same thing from the same company, Heineken Mexico. Um,
Uh, they tried a few others, some failed. There was one from California that Nicolope had bought, St. Archer Gold. It tasted good for ultra beer, but um, ultra light, but nobody knew, they, they didn't really promote it around here. They just put a bunch of displays up and stuck it there. And, uh, and I don't know about other states, but in Louisiana, that's a guaranteed failure pretty much because um, people are just not going to buy it. The craft beers, they sit on the shelf forever anyway because people will pick through them, get one single here, there, me included. And then the rest, who knows how long they stay on the shelf. Ages, they become artifacts. But um, Nicola Ultra doesn't. It flies off the shelves for some reason. Now, the Michelob Ultra Gold, the organic version, is probably comparable to this. And now I know there's a new Coors Organic Gold, but I can't find a single, and I'm going to have to buy a 12-pack, and I'm not definitely keen to do that, and I'm some, you know, stalling forever, maybe. Um, it'll probably be on around the same area as this. Uh, for the style, it's very high. Um... It, it doesn't make sense to say well and for beer overall because it's every style is beer overall okay yeah. is this a 12 ounce yeah 12 ounce can <laughs> I'd have really been hot if it had been less than 12 ounces but usually Heineken comes through like a spot and they give us the 12 ounce cans they don't try to hustle you with 11.2 ounce and then say well it's Europe yeah, well, this is Europe. Spotten is Europe, right? So, what's the problem with the rest? Okay, um... Oh, the wind is blowing the camera. Um... So, yeah, a style is a style. It's Some people love it, other people are indifferent to it, some people hate it, depending on the style, right? So, a beer that's excellent in the style is excellent overall because it's it can only exist within its style right it can't exist in another style so I'm gonna say it's a 93 it's most excellent there really isn't any flaw that I can detect um, a personal preference is that I don't ever buy these things because I don't care for the style. See, personal preference doesn't make the style bad. I've heard people say this, like literally say this. They weren't kidding on their channel. Like, that's a bad style. If you're saying something's a bad style, you might be a bad reviewer, you know. Uh, you probably are. You are. You are. You need to improve on that because uh, it doesn't make any sense. Now, once you get within the style, if it's lousy, or it's average, or it's good, or very good, or excellent, then you can start bringing it into play in that sense. Okay. Yeah, 93. So, 9.3 out of 10. A most excellent ultralight beer from our friends at Heineken. Used to be called Heineken International, but I notice now they're calling it the Heineken Company. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to the Netherlands and to the Holland province in the Netherlands and tour the Heineken experience. I don't think you get to actually tour the brewery, get one of those experiences.